Okay, so I see that you've been learning a lot about yourself. More, like, you've been learning more about yourself lately. And you're showing love to yourself more. You're just learning a lot about yourself. Okay, so some advice for you would be to take a break from, like, creative stuff. And, like, if you can, like, your job. But if you can't, like, just... You need to do something that will just allow you to like get a breather like you need a little break yeah so in order for you to have your full happiness and feel balanced you're gonna have to leave something that you're already feeling defensive about but it's something that you keep holding on to okay so it's a person that you're holding on to like even if you tell yourself you're not you might like still be holding on to like this person or what they did to you or whatever so you need to go towards getting mental clarity about this person because you can't be feeling conflicted about this person because they're going to be coming back in and when they come back in you can't be feeling confused even for one second you cannot be confused on this this person is not good for you and what they want to get out of this they want to manifest having like sexual relations with you and stuff and they don't want you to know that that's something that they want for whatever reason so they do want to offer you something this person but they feel like they've taken a long time to sort of build on this and they know or they think that you're like irritated with them are like not going to deal with their shit because they acted like they were going to put into this friendship or relationship they acted like they were going to do this that and the third they wanted to you know build on this and then they just never made a decision and ended up like leaving this out in the cold and yeah and now they want to come back and it's like now they're in like this ang anxious mode this is what they're showing me. Why does I do that every damn time? So as you can see, it's the devil. And this person is up all night anxious. And this is the devil. So this could mean obsessing a codependent person, someone on drugs, someone who drinks, someone or just someone toxic in general. This is up all night anxious. So this is how they're feeling they're watching you somehow they're watching you and for some reason they're burdened because they feel like you're stable and i always say this like even if you're not actually stable like this is just sorry this is just how they're viewing you yeah they feel like you're completely happy you're fine like that like they feel like you don't need them especially for like money and stuff they're like, they feel guarded and regretful. Like they feel like, they just, it's like they're mad at themselves. <laughs> like they're just so pissed. They wanna give you justice for ending this. This person wants a commitment with you. They want a new beginning with you. Like they wanna start over with you. They might even have said that to you before or will say that to you. This is definitely someone from your past. They want to meet with you. They want to see you in person. They see you as like their full happiness. They totally definitely want to work on things with you. But they feel like they juggled you in the past. And they feel like you're so, you're so like up here. That the fact that they even had the chance to juggle you baffles them. Yeah, they feel like you've healed from this and they're starting to use their intuition. So maybe you haven't exactly told them you don't want them, but they kind of know this. Like they're just using their intuition and it's like they know you might not want to talk to them or you might not want them, but they are going to try anyway. So the way they're going to do this is in a sneaky way. I don't know how they're going to do this. Listen, I don't know. But it's like it's showing the communication card with the person like sneaking or lying or being deceptive. But yeah, this person basically is just stuck on this ending and isn't gonna like move anytime soon. Like, like not action wise, but I mean like mind wise, like they're not gonna stop being stuck on you anytime soon. It's just not gonna happen. 
All right, let's get a little bit more. Let's get a little bit more. Let's ask something, let's ask something. Um, let's see, how are they feeling right now? How are they feeling right now? How is this person feeling right now? One hundred percent. This person wants a commitment with you. If they haven't said it to you, they want this now. They feel like they haven't seen you in a little bit. They haven't spoken to you in a little bit, and they feel like they really have emotions that are like tied to you from your from you being from their past. Um, definitely want to offer you something. Definitely want to work on things with you. They feel like you're such a balanced individual, and maybe this is what you've shown them, or you're just genuinely a balanced person. They feel like you don't want anything to do with them because they kept you in confusion, because they kept this deceptive thing going and they understand that you started using your intuition. So they're kind of defensive and now they feel confused because they want to come, but they know they've taken a long time. So they're confused. Like they don't know how you're gonna react. So that's a little like scared, scary for them because they know you're such a strong person. But they feel like when they were juggling you or chose another person over you or whatever they did, they feel like they did that impulsively. Like it was very like impulsively like that. Like he didn't even think twice. And now he feels burdened because he feels like if he would have took a little bit more to think about it and understand how much he cares about you and he wouldn't have made that decision. He wants to communicate or he's going to get communication about this third party or like this woman he was seeing. He's going to get communication that this girl was like sneaking and lying or like doing something deceptive and he's going to end it and it's going to be like a really like bad ending. Like it's not going to be good because there's a lot of money tied into their relationship. A lot of sex, a lot of money, a lot of multiple lovers, a lot of people feeling ignored. It's just a whole messy situation that you probably don't want to be anywhere near. So yeah, they're going to come in and offer you something because they're feeling so anxious and stuck and not sleeping at night to the point where they're understanding that they have to make a decision. Yeah, it's even affecting their stability, their work life. So they know they need to do this quick. They see that they need to manifest something with you. They're feeling conflicted on coming in because they feel like you're going to lash out on them or you're just not going to deal with it. Like you're coming up as the queen of swords, which is someone who's very like, they don't think with their emotions. They're very like, get out of my face. So yeah, they're going to try to come in and give to you knowing that you're already guarded, but they're going to still try to give you this justice for leaving you out in the cold. And they're just, it's like they're obsessing on what could have been and they're in regret over what could have been, the happiness, the what, you're still their wish fulfillment. They feel like they had their wish fulfillment and just ended it. Like they just, and it's done. Like they don't get another chance with their wish fulfillment who will always be their wish fulfillment. So now they are forced to heal 